Hi and welcome to section 3 of our course, Vector Beginner's Guide to Graphic Design. In this section, we'll get our hands on actually designing with Vector, creating different shapes, drawing curved paths, using a freehand tool, and editing text. In this first video, I'd like to show you how to manipulate different figures and shapes, how to rotate them, and how to select them in different ways. For that, let's first create a new page. Click an Add Page. Now let's create a couple of shapes. For example, a blue rectangle, a rounded rectangle, let's say make it green, and an ellipse. When creating an ellipse, you notice that it is not of a perfect shape, that is not exactly round. So how do you create a round ellipse or any other figure making it basically proportional? So you have to hold shift and then create a figure that will make an ellipse of an equal proportional size. See? Let's make an ellipse, for example, red. Yeah, or red is pinky, as it is here. You can select different layers from the Layers menu on the left, simply by clicking them. And you can you also use the Rectangle Selection tool. For that, simply click somewhere on the working canvas and expect the rectangle selection until all of the shapes that you want to select are inside of it. You can also select the shapes or objects by clicking one of them and then holding shift and clicking the other ones of them. Once chosen, you can rotate the selected objects using the rotation controls. If you hold shift, it will rotate by 15 degrees at a time. When selected, you can also resize them in a way that you want. If you hold shift, it will resize them proportionally to their sizes. In the next videos, we'll see how to create curved paths, edit text, and use a freehand drawing tool.